coming up next on Falcon Fever. Montevallo isn't very well known for its athletics, but coming up next year, they'll be adding another sport to the 11 already here. Coming up, I'll tell you more. And the men's baseball team traveled to Columbus State. See how their three-game series played out. And the tennis team is still looking to get their first conference win of the season. See if they pick up the victory since we last met. Falcon Fever starts now. Welcome in everyone. You are watching Falcon Fever. I'm RJ Sievertsgaard and that is Casey Beasley. Thank you, RJ. If you're looking for Montevallo highlights, you've come to the right place. We'll start off with the UM baseball team as the guys try to gain ground in the Peach Belt Conference by taking on Columbus State in a three-game series across the state line. On March 31st, UM took on the Cougars in Game 1. The Falcons took the match 4-3, to three, and in the win, Zach Willoughby led the team going 1-3 for three at the plate with a home run, a stolen base, and three RBIs. Heath Peterson went 1-4 for four while smashing a solo home run. Michael Shreves was a machine. He pitched a complete game to take home his third win of the season, and he struck out five. April 1st, the Falcons played games two and three against Columbus State in a doubleheader. The Cougars shut out the Falcons 16 and nothing. Hume only had three hits, with Will Fulmer leading the way, going two for four at the plate with two stolen bases. Game three was better for the Falcons, although they still couldn't come out on top in a close game. Columbus State beat the Falcons seven to five. UM had 12 hits with Heath Peterson leading the way, going two for four at the dish with a two-bagger and three RBIs. The Falcons tennis team continues on a losing skid. The ladies have gone over against Peach Belt Conference opponents and hope to finish the season on a more uplifting note. The Falcons have been plagued by injury with number one player Nikola Polsarova being able to play or forced to forfeit. The tennis team fell to North Georgia 9-0. A similar result down in Columbus, Georgia, as the women fell once again 9-0 to Columbus State. Switching gears to golf, April 3rd, the men's team took to the links in the Argonaut Invitational in Pensacola, Florida, and it wasn't quite the finish they wanted. UN placed seventh out of eight teams in the Invitational. Austin Murphy finished the highest for the Falcons. After three rounds, including a team best 71 in the final round, he shot a five over. Good enough to tie for 14th place. Andrew Lowry was tied for 20th overall. He shot a 7-over, while Juan Nose shot a 12-over. Mexico native Andres Morales shot a 16-over for UM. Well, folks, next year the athletic department will be adding women's track and field, and one of Montevallo's own will be heading up the new team. Coleman Sears has more. The athletic department made an announcement of the addition of the women's outdoor track and field team on February 14th. Tommy Barksdale, head coach of the men's and women's cross country teams, will also head up the new women's outdoor track and field team. I'm very excited. The girls are very excited. It's going to help out with the recruiting because a lot of the recruits, the top recruits that we go after, want to run track as long as cross as as well as cross country. So in that respect, it's going to help us. It's going to help us grow as a university because it's going to add more students to the student body. Coach Barksdale has extensive experience in track and field coaching at Division I's Moorhead State for two seasons prior to his coming to Montevallo. It's going to give us an, a new avenue and with the track, you know, hope in a few years when the track's built, everybody can use it. Soccer can use it, baseball can use it, volleyball. So it's going to be another avenue that not just our sport can use, but other sports can use as well as just the regular student body. Although the university doesn't currently have its own outdoor track facility, it will practice on campus and compete here at Ricky M. Carn Stadium in Calera. This is the proposed site for the new outdoor track facility that should be completed in the next few years. The team will be eligible to compete in NCAA sanctioned events next season. That was Coleman Sears reporting. We all look forward to going out and supporting the track and field team and wish them and Coach Barksdale good luck in their upcoming season. Well, Casey, now it's time to take a look at the upcoming games for Montevallo Athletics. We'll start out on the links. The men's and women golf squads will be back in action on the 10th in the PBC Championships at Callaway Gardens in Pine Mountain, Georgia. We wish all of our golfers good luck in that tournament from everyone here at the Fever. That's exactly right. The baseball team takes the field in West Georgia on the 4th at 5 p.m. The guys 
then have a three-game series against PBC foe Augusta State here at home on the 5th and the 6th. The game at the, on the 5th starts at 6 p.m., and the first pitch for the doubleheader on the 6th is thrown at 1 p.m., and then again at 4. The tennis team is back at it today, the 4th, against West Alabama starting at 4. The girls get back at it at home on the 6th against UNC Pembroke at 10 a.m., and again on the 10th against Augusta State at 1 p.m. Well, folks, as always, for more Falcon Fever, you can find us online. You can watch current and past Falcon Fever episodes on YouTube. Just search Montevello for you. And you can become our friend on Facebook, where you can leave a comment, talk about recent games, or give a shout-out to your favorite player. And last but not least, you can follow us on Twitter. Just search for UM Falcon Fever. Many of our Facebook posts also go straight to Twitter. So, no worries, Casey. You're never out of the loop if you are a tweeter. That's good. And for extended sports coverage, team rosters, and all other Falcon sports, go to MontevelloFalcons.com. There you can find pictures from the various Montevello sports, full stats, and more. Well, that's the whole show. It was sort and short and sweet today. And I don't know if you know this, but that was our 10th episode this, this, uh, in 2012. And we have only four left before the summer break. But I know I need a break. I'm pretty sure you need a break. I'm sure y'all need a break. So We're all going to get a break. <laughs> We're all going to get a break. That's exactly right. And don't forget, next week we will be live from Kermit A. Johnson Field on Ustream. Um, that will be Wednesday the 11th. So stay tuned to Facebook for updates from Casey. And immediately after Falcon Fever, we will broadcast the men's basketball celebration of their run to the Final Four. Then we'll transition to streaming UM's baseball game against North Alabama at 6. We have a very exciting week ahead. So until next time, I'm Casey. That's RJ. We're out of here.